terribly strange. Parang isa lang yata ang kinakatakutan ni Flick dito is, is yung Akai. Pero sa laro yeah. ni Cadenza nung game 1, sa laro ni Cadenza throughout their run here in Seagull, I think he's still gonna give Flick a run for his money. Mahirapan siya. Let's talk about scaling. Let's talk about the pace of the game. Kanina hindi natin ina-expect na kaya pala ng next play sumagot ng ganong kabilis. This time around, who's gonna be the aggressor in the early game move? Both aggressive for sure. Pero parang mas madali yung uh, execution. East execution for this. Pakito, Glue, tas Akai, and uh, Matilda. When it comes to frontlining, meron kang Matilda, meron kang Glue to, to fill for you. Tapos yung Akai, kahit second in initiation na lang siya. Tsaka na lang siya tatalon kapag nandun na yung Fanny. And then you have the Pakito to also force some of the... Parang siya yung taga-amba para mapwersa yung Onik na mag-react agad. So he will be the quote code initiator pero hindi siya talaga yung talagang initiator, hard initiator. So, uh, this will leave a lot of space para dun sa ating uh, Claude. If we're looking at uh, Onyx PH, conditional yung kanilang pagiging aggressive. Yes, they can be aggressive, but they have to land arrows. Kailangan maganda yung initiation ni Edith na lalaro yun sa mid lane. And Dil Dilar Paramis. There you go. Okay. XP Paramis. XP Paramis. Wow. <laughs> uh, hindi ko lang kung roaming ito. I don't know who got the roam boots. Pero mukhang nakaibaloy siya on the Selena. And uh, meron ng uh, ambahan dito sa mid na magaganap. Uh, fast clear huh. ang uh, laro dito ni J-Lord. Well, try, to, try to explain what's going on here. Medyo uh, unorthodox ang galaw na Onik. Yeah. Super flex yung Onik. Okay. So... Oh! We, oh wow, okay. So we don't know if uh, we didn't know kung si Green or si uh rin nila Green nila hate. But uh, yeah, I think that uh, hindi pa rin na solve ng Onyx Philippines si pagiging squish nila. Sobrang lambot ng mga members nila. And uh, ang naging tama ng tayo yata sa guess is this Popol and Kuba tsaka itong Fanny. Obviously, so si Given na yun eh. Pero itong Edith, yes. I thought na magiging explain siya. Tapos post 5 na kanina at post 4. But wow! Wow. May early lockdown. May early lockdown ang Onyx PH. So let's not count them out just like that. And also just the same, they're up 500 gold. So saan nila nakukuha to? Despite that early first blood, may bawi ang uh, Onyx Philippines. Uh, I guess so. They're, they're quicker. Um, ito naman kasing top lane, kung 1v1 lang to, um, definitely combo-sided. Of course, Grid na lalakdan dito. Kaso, Red Team si Hero eh. has been slain. Oh no, Donuts in trouble. Tatalunan ang kakampi niya dito. Cadenza still survives. And look at this. Ang bilis ni Margie mag-push. This is the Weapon Master Popol in Koopa at its finest. Ang bilis maubos ng uh, energy shield turrets. Two minutes in, Wolf. At uh, mag uh, the third na dito. And ang NXP dahil yung Onyx Philippines, they've lost control. Yung XP lane na naging putas dito para sa Onyx Philippines. The Lars, he already dying twice in this game. Aso nga lang, makapag-push ang Onyx. Kaya naman yung mga sila sa goal. Oh, there's the wow. flip. Oh, then dahil hindi siya magbubuhay dito. Flick gets the finishing touch. Apat. Mula sa Onyx Philippines, ito yung sinasabi mo, Wolf. Yung speed nila, yung rotations. And now, H2 still confirms it. Sir, yung Eagle. Finds the Fanny, napag-cable siya, pero hindi mo natapos ang buhay ni Nick Vito. Mabubuhay pa ang Fanny, and they're still here. They're gonna toss out Apple Pink siya. Hazed, pataan ang survive! Kaya siya na palalim yata si Hatred. Flicker already used by this Edith. And Cadenza, he smells blood. That's going to be the Roamers versus the Roamers of Axe. And H2O slain. finishes the job. Sa totoo lang, I think Hatred bought a lot of time there. Yep. So... Yung pala yung correction na gusto gawin ni Green tsaka ni uh, Hatred is a suplex into the arrow. Uh, and it did look wonderful actually. Kaso nga lang naging over-aggressive dito ako ni Philippines. They had to burn some of their flickers. At ang uh, kagandaan nga lang is napupuruhan nila yung ibang lanes. And uh, Onyx Philippines are happy with some of the trades that's happening. They have to be careful though kasi mayroong malaking power spike itong NXP Evos. And just like in the previous game, binibigyan nila ng uh, second lane itong uh, si Donut para makapag-farm. Eh, going for the mid lane. Alam niya na kasi na mahirapan siya dun sa top lane. So instead, they give him like a double lane three. Yep. Cold altar here used by Dilar. Pero tutulong lang yun para makapag uh, 
kuha ng Outer Third Energy Shields but a kill in the escalate is still a kill and doon ang gagaling yung paghabol ng Nike Evos sa gold nila which still on it ahead Very interesting uh, playstyle I I didn't think that Dilar will eh, para siyang hindi Dilar hero eh <laughs> Sobra Sobra hindi siya Dilar hero pero wait lang pinagtangkahang nakawa ni Flick Ang purple dito, and they're gonna collapse here in this purple buff. There's gonna be the catch! Hurricane Dance keeping him down! Flick goes! Ureshi ang nakatapos sa kanya! And just like that, na-punish ang punish na pagpasok. Hindi makahanap ng capitalization ang next to Evos. They're still managing these waves. Simulan dito ni Ureshi. And there's an arrow on to Kadenza, plus the suplex! Woof! It's the greed and J-Lord connection! Kamuti ka na. Hindi lang si Kuro si Kadenza. Tag team. It's the tag team. The tag team. <laughs> But then again, alam ko yung nagigil yung Onig Philippines dun sa pagkuha ng purple. And so far, yung past two purples ni H2 na secure niya even under fire of Onig mm -hmm. Philippines. So very commendable kami mm -hmm. lang from H2. And the punishment was there from NXP. Closing the gap, yung lahat ng efforts ng Onig Philippines thrown down the drain. Wow. And now, NXP Evos, nakaradam na sila ng konting advantage. In fact, may DHS na at the mana boots itong si Donut. So, madali na yung farming sa kanya. His farming speed is gonna just be faster and faster and faster. Yep, uh, Donut hasn't died yet. Kahit na nawala na yung uh, tier 1 turret niya. So, I think good nga to. Yung strategy na Bagitlo Wolf, yung uh, decision to give him another lane. To help him find farm elsewhere. And by getting this little wanderer, they'll have vision. At least alam nila kung may magsisimula na ng turtle and look at this, greed. Tatalunan ang dalawa dito, Hayes and Donut. Bottom lane, nag-switch na. I believe that's a split-split and a grab-grab on to Super Marky. Mabubuhay naman siya. In goes Cadenza with the Hurricane Dance. And bottom lane still seems to be the baluarte of next play. Grabe. Nung una si Dilar nag-try, but to no avail. This time, it's Super Marky. Also to no avail. Oh! Don't out now already used up. Donut goes down. You gotta respect the burst on Flick here. One for one. Pero kung Donut yun for Dilar, all the more worth it. Dito natin na rung daman wolf na siguro nga merong parts ng Faramis na medyo Dilar. That's actually very funny if you know Dilar's got his personality na. Parang siguro nga itong four deaths na to um, napapost pa nga siya nung nakaraan na parang sa wakas hindi rin na matay or sa wakas konti rin deaths but this is what it is this, uh, this is the decision that they have to live with lamang na ang NSP Evos and I would say na sila din talaga ang mas nakakaangat dito come the late game mid game though malaki ang power spike ng NSP Evos but Onyx Philippines if they do find their uh, uh, their stats if they do forget their shots maybe uh, they, they can at least match in the mid game Mm -hmm. Donut here has to be cautious. Again, nakatikim na siya ng garot ni Flick dito. Sitting at 2 on 1. This is not bad for uh, a fanny that's not able to steal the two purples na pinagtangkaan niya anina. And now Greed, thinking about it, says no, not my fight to pick on Oreshi. Ito na purple. Ito secure muna. Ni Flick, try na push na. Off camera, top lane, tier 1, and ni Donut. And I love it. Sobrang threatening nga talaga naman Wolf yung wombo-wombo yung tag team moves ni Hatred oh. at ni Greed dito. <laughs> almost confirmed kill, almost, always. But they're losing uh, map here. Buti na lang din nakakuha pa rin ng purple buff dito si Flick. He's 5k at uh, sobrang nakapag-catch up na itong si uh, Paquito. 5.2k na rin yung gold laner nila. A uh, little bit ahead dito sa my gold laner ng Olive Philippines. So, super good na game na to para sa NXP Evos. Kailangan din ang mag-tease until the late game but it seems like they don't need that anymore. Sila na ang nasa upper hand. Onyx Philippines, they have to find their shots now. Otherwise, pwede na silang a steamroll ng NXP Evos with the firepower that they have. Like I said, ease of execution favors NXP. At dumating na sila dun sa zone na nandun na sila. Kailangan lang nila din ibanggain itong Onyx Philippines. The squishy members of Onyx Philippines might not make it from the onslaught of NXP. Oh, there's the combo! The suplex and the arrow! Kadenta forced to use the Hurricane Dance. Hindi niya kung gusto yung lumaban dito. Lima, may, anim na miyembro ng Onyx ang nandito. Si Secure niya lang itong Lord. Pero pumuporma si H2. He's gonna try to find it. He's bursted down by Flick! 
At susunod na rin yata dito ang isang pang miyembro. That's Ureshi with the flicker out. Mind you, meron pa siyang split-split. So talagang panggulo lang. Next three was, I think that's a win for them na hindi nila hinayaan na makuha ang Onyx and Lord. Yeah, and nakawa pa sila ng turret sa may bottom lane. A kill on one. Para sa side ng Onyx Philippines, hindi siya ganun ka... Ganda. At least uh, hindi nakakuha ng Lord dito ang NXP, but si sobrang taas na ng farm dito ni uh, Donut. At ngayon pala makakuha ng, uh, wind, ng uh, lightning truncheon itong si Dilarski. At ngayon pa lang siya medyo kakate versus this blue. Seems like itong Onyx Philippines might have overreacted to this blue pick and putting it on an XP lane. Nawawalan sila ng lane management. If you're looking at Onyx Philippines, yeah. yung mga lanes nila pushed against them. Yeah. To be fair, nung sinabi natin, baka nga meron dealer doon sa parang miss is it's, it's, we're looking for the silver lining but wait, here's a big fight! Hurricane Hands! Knocking down sa may wall doon! Donut! Trip of Raging Duet! Tika din siya muna mawawala pero mukhang naman, it's yung Onyx ang teamfight na ito napakaganda ng pasok ng Entrada ni Flick! It's gonna be two kills for them and it's gonna be one more going down it's the Crowd Altar making quite a difference here So, willing to make trades ang Onyx Philippines. Pero hindi pa na boss, John Paul Salonga hinahanap dito si Flick. Gonna try to take down the Fanny. Instead, force the retreat and push the way in. Wala pa rin na ako ng Lord. Wow, that's uh... uh we need a replay for that for sure. Pero ang ganda ng pin down kasi nahanap doon si Hatred. At with without uh, Eden, wala silang added control. So, it's yung... Uh, Uh, if Hatred had influence in that fight, madami sana ang makakotrol dito ang side ng Onyx Philippines kasi AOE din yung kanyang lock-up. But you have, gotta have to give it to the Flick. He's really making sure that he's on top of the Claude. Hindi makalaro dito yung Claude because of him. At uh, dahil doon ang Onyx Philippines ay naka-even na pa doon sa laban na yun. In fact, we can, we can argue na siguro ay lumamang pa, pa sila doon sa trade-off na yun. Since uh, they, yeah. had, they, they were able to take out yung uh, Golden Claude. Yep, and I think uh, kung sa pautaan lang or sa pag-approach ng mga teamfights, Onyx Philippines understands the dynamic here. Gets nila eh, kaya nga nung nag-blazing doon kanina si Donut, it didn't really lead, lead to much. ba diba? Kaya medyo okay pa. Kaya maliit lang tong gold lead na to, 2k, 1.5k minsan. So, we'll see. There's a reason why this Lord is still standing. And then as the tag team combo one more time, Cadenza Boy pa, Hurricane Dance palayo. Nothing is safe here. Flame shot, just in case. Dilar. Um, Onyx Philippines, I think, forcing this Hurricane Dance, parang ang sinasabi nila is, okay, sige, pag binuwara sa ating Hurricane Dance, okay si Flick. Hindi ka threatened. However, para sa NXP Evos, uh, they're still okay with this kasi nakukamit din naman yung ultimate ni Marky. A, a lot of combos have to be where then pwede sila magkaroon ng punish mag at yung tag team na to nasa mid lane. Ito yung ring nila eh. Ito mid lane na to. <laughs> Yan yung ring, oh, tong, uh, tong corners ng uh, river bushes. Diyan nang uhuli uh, 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 si Hatred. Tapos sasalo naman ng uh, pana dito, uh, si Green. Eh, si Sinigsyo nga na nala. Okay. Uh, Ito naman, kung makikita natin, sobrang bilis na galaw ng isang fanny. Kahit na nagilo siya ngayon, makasama pa rin siya. Available na ulit ang ultimate niya. Kahit hindi ganun katagal ang uh, opening dito para sa side ng Onyx Philippines. Mm -hmm. Curious to see kung... Uh, Mabubuhay na yung uh, yung split push ng Onyx Philippines knowing na nakita natin yon some semblance of that earlier on. So let's take a quick look dito sa ating mga items. May brute force best pick kinuha si Donut para hindi siya ganun kabilis ma-burst dito ni Click. While si uh, um, H2, uy, alam nila no? So pare sa teams alam sino ang unang bibigay, sino ang unang susuko, sino ang unang matetempt na mag-clear dito sa bottom lane. This is close! Ah. Ayun na! Ayun na to. That's a good amount of stuns and that's a lot! Pero lang mo, may sagot agad! And there's the circling eagle! Kaka! Una ba pag sa Super Marky! Pero may trade naman dito! Flick cleaning house! That's still a two for one! Great move wow. by Onyx Philippines! Hindi mo! May pagpapalit yung bilis ng isang fanny! Flick! Amazing! Six, one, and two! Wow! That, that was good! Ang ganda nung... Ang ganda nung uh, dashes na yun. It looks so beautiful. And the initiation coming out morning Philippines. Meron tas yung firepower ng NXT. Eventually, look at Flick. Beautiful moves. Beautiful cable control. And they want to get more. Oh no! It's all falling down, Wolf! Matapos yung, matapos yung showcase. Matapos yung clinic. Yung workshop. 
ni Flex sa fan dito sa bottom lane. Biglang nabaliktad. Na open up yung Lord na to finally and it's luminous too. So this might be on its play. This might be their time to turn it around. Wow. Red team has slain wait, the Lord. Wait, wait, wait. I'm a... Okay. Kung meron man magsisimula ng Flick Fanny Fans Club. Simulan din na ako na yung first member. Okay, so back to back showcase games. Sobrang lupet ng ginawa niya sa may bottom lane, yung cable management niya. It actually blew my mind. Eventually, it's a few seconds afterwards, natuto na siya sa may mid lane. Kudos to Onyx Philippines for starting that fight. Nakuha nila pa nila yung kill to kill donut. So many good things that happened in a series of events. There I say, hindi pa to Onyx game. Malakas pa rin talaga ang opposition ng Onyx game. But if they keep on doing those kind of stuff, Onyx Philippines can recover now. Yep. And so far on the map, they're doing just that. Successful defense on the tier 1 sa mid. Pero itong top lane, tier 2. Don't even think about it. Ang ganda pa ng inyong phase. Yung flow sa baba ni Flick. And right now, they're threatening hatred. Medyo mababang buhay ng Edith na ito. Turns into the marksman. Babagsak si H2. Super Marky gets a kill. Plays into it palayo. Magpupush sa bottom lane si Flick. And ang ganda lang ng management isa ng pressure ng Siege. So, Onyx Pinyag pa ang mabutas pa itong bottom lane. Top lane will go first. And if it turns down, hit na lang natitira. Plays into it. Pero walang magkawa si Donut. Masabog na rin siya pati yung base ng next na Evos. And Onyx will even a score one to one. Victory! I don't know what to say. The, I, I don't know what to say. Sobrang na agulan. Just flick things. Just, Just flick, flick things. things. Okay, so when I was uh, getting information, then and um, it, it's not. It, it, I I think um, alam naman na mga tao na may, may close tie with Onik, but. Uh, to him, surprised. Okay, so what happened in there? Why did I so surprised dito? Because of how quick it was. NXP yung control nila sa laban sobrang ganda. Bottom lane, nakita natin na kung sino yung unang mag-overstep ay mapapasama. Si H2, hindi niya siguro din in-expect. Sobrang patient niya dun eh sa bottom lane. Hindi niya in-expect na nandun yung Serena. Or maybe he is baiting. Kasi parang tinawa niya si Matilde. Prepared sila dun sa talon. Then Greed goes for the stun na kumonekta dun kay H2. There was the combo. Eventually, yung Matilda, Circling Eagle, pati yung Pakito na nandun, ay kumuha ng kill doon sa important na hero, which was Super Marky, na Popolin Koopa. Mm -hmm. Pero dahil low sila parehas, nag-clean up from Flick. Tapos yung gamit pa niya ng cable, sobrang efficient. Right? And I think hindi ganun kasimple yan, guys. Whatever he did para makapunta dun sa spot na parang pa, halos zigzag, saktong-saktong kay H2 na hindi siya yes. nag-waste ng kahit anong energy to take the double kill. Then, there was a heads up play coming out from Onyx PH in the mid lane na kung saan na pwersa nila, nakuha nila yung kill kay Donut. 